Good evening, I'm Sangeeta Kandola. Police have rejected claims they failed to save a 17-year-old boy from drowning in a river in Hackney. An eyewitness has told ITV News that Jack Susianta could have been saved if police had jumped in to help him sooner. Some viewers may find parts of this report from our senior correspondent Ron K. Phillips distressing. Two people have been charged after a woman from Brixton died while bungee jumping in Spain last week. If you're trying to get onto London's property ladder today, brought a triple dose of bad news. While most of the country has seen house building rise, it's actually falling here in the capital. If you do manage to find a property you like, you'll have to cough up a deposit of £70,000 on average. And saving that cash is getting harder too, as rents are soaring. London Underground has made a new offer to the unions in a bid to prevent next week's tube strike. Cyclists will take to the roads tomorrow for the third Ride London event. Next, he was one of Tottenham's finest players and an England star too. And now Teddy Sheringham is hoping to recreate the success he had on the pitch on the touchline. He's preparing for his first season as manager of two Stevenage. Wilmot went to find out if he's feeling confident about his first match in charge. OK, time to find out how the weekend weather is shaping up. Here's Martin again. Well, that's all we've got time for tonight. We're back with the latest from the capital tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. Until then, from all the team here, good night and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.